Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back uh, to another shading video. In this video, we're going to get a little bit more advanced and uh, hopefully learn uh, more stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you how to mix uh, materials and use a couple of different other nodes that I didn't show in my last video. And uh, let's begin. Uh, so as you can see, this car was made in actual uh, painting software uh, where I painted the whole car manually. Uh, but in this video, if I go back to my preview a render, uh, because this was done in cycles, that's why it looks realistic. So as you can see, uh, you know, the glass is not working and so on, but we can still get an idea uh, what's going on with the car. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to separate this hood and I'm going to show you a few different nodes of uh, how to combine materials, uh, maybe based on selection and uh, based on just two different shaders and so on. Uh, so let's begin. Let me just turn on overlays. Uh, go to edit mode for this car. Click off. Click on this hood only. I clicked L, by the way, uh, to select everything that's linked. I'm going to click P and uh, separate it by selection. And now we have this hood uh, separated from the car. As you can see, if we jump inside the object, uh, this was just five different textures that I painted inside, uh, like I said, Substance Painter. So I'm going to go to Materials and just delete a Body and do Plus, New. And now we have a new material just on this hood and the car stays the same. Uh, so let me just show you uh, how to combine two different uh, materials on one object based on selection first, and then I'm going to show you how to combine it uh, using uh, shaders. Uh, so first, uh, let's just get like a metallic material on here. So crank up the metalness, uh, bring the roughness just a little bit, and now let's bring in clear coat all the way. And now we just have a basic uh, car material, as you can see. Uh, it looks pretty nice. So now what we're going to do is click plus and create a new material. So we'll call this, uh, for example, car paint. And for this one, we'll do rough paint. So let's do a lighter color. Uh, same thing, it's going to be metallic. So as you can see right now, we have two different materials, uh, the car paint and the rough paint. Uh, the reason you don't see any rough paint is because it's right under uh, the first material. But if you go to edit mode and, for example, select the whole thing again and do assign, now we have the other material on top of the car paint uh, with this rough paint. Uh, so let's just crank up, oh, maybe let's do chrome. That should be nice as well. So we'll do chrome for this one. Let's just bring in some speculars in there. And yeah, that's about it. So now what we're going to do is uh, combine uh, these two uh, materials using selection mode first. So let me just go to add mode and select uh, just a loop around uh, the hood right here. And let me do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, it goes all the way around. Uh, now I'm going to hit Control Plus a couple of times. As you can see, uh, this made a little weird design, which we can actually use uh, to combine two materials. Uh, so for the car paint, I'm going to do a sign for the chrome, and then I'm going to do Control I, invert, and I'm going to assign the other material on top. So as you can see, we have the chrome, and then we have the dark gray material, also metallic, uh, combined on, on top of the same uh, hood. Uh, so this is how you combine uh, using selection. Uh, you just click on your object and keep clicking plus and uh, select in different parts of uh, the object, like you see I did here. And uh, based on that, you can assign different materials. Uh, so that's how you do it based on selection. Now let's delete this here and go back to our material. And now I'm going to do it based on uh, using shade, uh, different shaders. Uh, so 
let's uh, duplicate this shader here. Move this to the side by clicking G, by the way. And now for the second material, uh, let's get a little fancy and bring in some uh, textures. So I'm going to do Control A, go for Image, Open. Let's do, for example, this uh, diffused leather material. And do Control Shift Left Mouse button just to see what it looks like. It looks pretty crazy, uh, especially for a car, but we'll just uh, play around and see what happens. I'm just gonna let it let it through color ramp to squeeze some of these values for the blacks. Maybe let's bring it up to gray, so it's not too crazy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's plug in inside the base color and let's see what that looks like so far. Uh, so this is our second material. Let's just add some kind of imperfections uh, to this material. Uh, so let's bring in another image, image texture, uh, open it up, and let me go back and go to uh, metals, and let me bring in this displacement uh, metallic material here. And what I'm going to do is pipe it inside a bump map. So let me go to height, go to normal, as you can see, it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting. Uh, let me just bring down the strength here. Maybe let's do 0.6, actually. I kind of like how this looks. And I'm going to do Control t for this displacement and play around with scale. So let's try to multiply it 10 times. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. Not too bad. So what we're going to do now is uh, combine these two shaders. Remember... Uh, this is what it looks like. Just a basic gray material, and this is the second one. Uh, some crazy metallic material. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, so what we're going to do is con uh, hit Control, uh, Shift, and the uh, right mouse button. You see we have this little green uh, arrow. If you're not seeing this, make sure you activate your Node Wrangler add-on. So Node as you can see in the Wrangler, make sure that's activated. And now uh, we can combine two uh, different shaders based uh, on the factor value. As you can see, we can go in between the two shaders. Right now it's a set to 0.5, but what we can do is, let me do H and hide uh, this shader here. We can bring in another texture. So let me do image, open it up. Uh, let's go back to metals. And let's find something abstract. So let me look through here. Uh, let's see, grudge, stains, waves. So that looks pretty cool. Let me try to bring maybe this one in. And first, before I plug it in, let me see what that looks like. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool uh, based on the UVs on this car. So let's plug it right away. Let's plug it in. And as you can see, uh, we're combining two different uh, materials or shaders inside uh, the same uh, material. So this is not based on selection. This is based on two different uh, BSDF shaders. Uh, but anyway, to make this effect a little bit stronger, uh, I'm just going to bring these forward and bring in a color ramp. And I'm just going to crunch these values to make the effect a little bit stronger. Well, let me bring in, bring the white down or maybe up a little bit. And as you can see, we're getting a nice and crisp effect. Actually, it kind of matches this car, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's just preview it before I end this video. I'm going to preview inside cycles and see what we created uh, in this tutorial and see if it actually looks good on this car. Let me get a different angle here. So as you can see, guys, uh, this is our material on this car. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the one I had before uh, looked a little bit better, uh, but this one's still unique uh, and sort of uh, more complex than just uh, doing color. Anyway, hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. Uh, please subscribe, leave a like, and have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.